I'm here at Joffrey Lakes um, the Park. I'm about an hour north of Whistler, British Columbia by vehicle and that first beautiful lake you just saw, there's a lower lake. That's, that's the lower lake that we just saw. Then there's a middle lake at higher elevation and an upper lake at higher elevation than that. Here's an aerial map. You can see there's three lakes in Joffrey Lakes Park. The first one, the lower one I just passed, is near the road, Highway 99, and the second and third lake are close to each other at higher elevation, about 1,500 feet up. You know, the more you hike, the more and more you do it, you can kind of gauge, kind of get a, an idea of where trails may go just by looking ahead. Now, I could be wrong. I've never been on this trail before, but I know I'm going to the middle lake right now. The second one, it's at the middle of elevation between the lower lake, the middle lake, and the higher lake. Now, I'm looking at this ridge up here. Now, it looks like the path could go straight up that, but it's so, so steep. I don't think so. I think where it's going is, if you look ahead there, see how there's like a dip between two hills? Looks like a valley. I believe the trail will go up that and then we'll flatten out to the second lake over there. Well, I'm just off the trail for a second. I've seen people coming coming up and going down, so you know, in on a, some somewhere in sneakers, so it's doable. It just makes me nervous, kind of psychologically. But there's ice and some black ice on part of this trail, so I've gone just off it, and you can see some kind of crushed earth where people have gone around the icy per part up on this like tree slope trail. I made it to the third lake. Absolutely worth it. Stunningly beautiful. The water is just a crisp, like aquamarine blue. Comes from the melt water off the glacier up there. I didn't bring my zoom lens so I could move faster, less weight on my back. But if you look up there, the glacier is uh, pretty intense. So it's 5.30 p.m. I have 20 minutes of light left and it took me an hour and a half, almost two hours to get up here. And I forgot my headlamp. Um, so yeah. Idiot. But not too worried, I got my iPhone light. I'm gonna head back. People say it's like a four and a half, five hour trail. Maybe that's accurate, but it just depends on your, your own personal speed. You could do it in three or three and a half. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You know, it's funny, there is no echo or anything. When I like yell, the sound stops dead like a centimeter from my mouth. It's like, burr! Well, that one, that one echoed. <laughs> Looking back down at the second lake here, and you see that the 
that tree line and that thin veil of mist, that's the valley that I'm gonna go back down into, down, down, down on the other side of the slope.